But uh, there's so many great memories about this neighborhood. This was a great place to ride bikes. This is beautiful. Great house. So Greg and I slept up there. We had one air conditioner in the center of the hallway to cool the whole house. Mom and Dad had one in the back bedroom. And I'm Appreciate Greg Moore. It. How you doing? All of a sudden, I lived in that room. <laughs> oh, did you? Dad's. Yes. One of the things that, for me as a command sergeant major, that really touched me is that when he, how he empowered his command sergeant major. You know, he got in front of the platoon and and basically said, hey, you know, my, my command sergeant major, uh, when I'm not here, he speaks for me. So, you know, every command team, you know, that's what we, you know, we try to do. <laughs> I just can't think of two better people to have this, this post named after. It's not just about what they did, which is in and of itself, you know, remarkable. A, a husband and wife team so, con so devoted to this mission and the Army and the people and their families. But I really think that they will serve as such a, an inspiration to young people. A call to service to come into the Army. Uh, and also, when young soldiers, uh, you know, men and women arrive here, it's just such a great example, and I think somebody to look up to and a role model to inspire. On three, one, two, three. Good. The name isn't about Hal and Julie Moore. It's about the values, the character, and the service that they represent. And when people see the name of Fort Moore on the sign out there, that's what we want them to think about. Not Hal, not Julie. Values, character, and the service, and the sacrifice. Our parents tried to raise us as the most normal, conventional family possible within the most abnormal circumstances that a military life can provide. You know, from my mother's uh, standpoint, on the home front, moving 28 times in 32 years, I moved 14 times in 18. Adaptability comes to mind. You really, as a military family, have to adapt to so many different things making new friends, a new on post, off post, you, you just don't know what you're going to, to be up against. And I think a military family and the, the teamwork of them really helps the children uh, you know, adapt to that and, and continue to grow. The wife of Sergeant Gell uh, offered, donated that plot that was for her when my mother passed away. And that gave my father the opportunity to fulfill what he said was his last life dream, which was to be buried among his soldiers. So as you look around in this area, you'll see November 14, 15, 16, 17, 1965. Uh, Sergeant Gell was one of the first ones uh, to fall. And if you read the book, We Were Soldiers Once and Young, Sergeant Gell was mentioned specifically because my mother found out about this funeral on national news and was unaware of that. Uh, and that activity, that, that act of, of Sergeant Gell being buried and his wife being here with no support was incomprehensible. And then everything started to roll uh, and organize. So as you look around, you'll see my father's troopers all around. They would not want it to be solely about what they did, what their accomplishments were, but more about who they are and what they represent and what the Army can grow and, and achieve as a result of the renaming.